Howdy folks. In this video, we'll do a mini review and walkthrough of the Chamberlain Internet Gateway in order to enable my garage door opener to be controlled wirelessly through my mobile device or through the computer. In my case, I have a Craftsman garage door opener, but Craftsman, LiftMaster, and Chamberlain are kind of using the same technology. So my goal was to go ahead and use the Chamberlain uh, MyQ Internet Gateway in order to enable wireless uh, control of the garage door. You know, sometimes I leave the house and then I'm trying to think, did I really close the garage door? Thankfully, I never left it open, but just to be safe, it's good to be able to check on it and then close that. Um, the setup says, connected to the internet, set up in minutes. Well, not quite. It's not as complicated as it is, as long as you're aware of all the variables, but otherwise, once you're aware of them, which those minutes turn into hours in my case, once you're aware of them, you can actually set it up, and I actually am doing this review after I already finally got it all working successfully. So, um, in the kit, what comes in the box that you purchase, you'll have the internet gateway which is just this box with two ports, uh, Ethernet port and then a power port. You will get a power, a power adapter and then the Ethernet cable and then instructions. If you can really call it instructions, I don't know. Here they are. You have all those steps and as simple as they are, um, again, there are some things to be aware of. So uh, I'll just show you one thing that happened to me just in case it happens to you so you're going to be aware of it when I was setting it up. So to pre proceed with the setup, we'll connect the unit to the power and to the Ethernet port. And then we need to wait for, you'll see initially both lights blink. And then in your case, the blue light will not show up when the unit is new. It will only show up blue uh, when uh, it is set up. In my case, initially, I did not have a green, a green blinking light. It was just, there was like nothing there. And I'm plugging it, unplugging it. I'm trying to figure out what's going on because the instructions said when the green light is solid, that means you are ready to proceed. In my case, this green light wasn't solid. It wasn't blinking other than just in the initial power up. And that's it. Through troubleshooting uh, for a while, I ultimately discovered that not all internet routers work with this Chamberlain gateway. I don't know why, because my internet router, you know, I can have multiple computers, I can plug it in, all of them give us power, uh, I mean, internet access. But for some reason, as I was troubleshooting this, when I plugged in this unit to port number three on my internet uh, router, suddenly I finally started getting the green internet light, and then it became solid, which means it is connected. Prior to purchasing this uh, gateway, it was my understanding that it is compatible with Craftsman, LiftMaster, and Chamberlain garage door openers uh, that have the yellow or the purple learn button, which my Craftsman does. It has the purple one. However, I still was not able to sync it at that point because when I actually ended up calling their support line, uh, and in fact, they were very nice, very helpful, and they stated that I also do need to make sure that my control panel in the garage door, uh, you know, the button uh, that is hardwired to the unit, it also needs to be a MyQ uh, compatible uh, button clicker, which they call the control panel. So that's when I kind of stopped, ordered the control panel, and that is what I have installed today, and I was able to proceed to successfully set this unit up. So on the back of the on the Chamberlain mo on the of the Chamberlain model, you'll have two screws. One is for the white wire, and one is for the red wire. Generally, your existing control panel should already follow the same scheme, so you would reconnect. Uh, those wires to this new control panel. So this panel gives me a few options uh, as well, even though I know it's beyond the review here, but uh, I can go ahead and have the garage door automatically be closed after one, five, or ten minutes. And the way I'll do that with this panel is I'll press and hold the on button, and then I can set it for one, five, or ten minutes. And then when you set it, it will actually blink, uh, you know, as a confirmation that it got the correct um, signal. And then you also have the hold open button. So this way, you know, let's say I'm going to go and cut some grass and I want to keep my garage door open. Then you have the hold open button. Just don't forget to go back to your settings. In my case, I'll set it for 10 minutes. And now with this functionality, I don't know, maybe I don't really need the internet gateway, but obviously I have it, so I will uh, set it up. And then you have the light switch here to turn the lights on, and off, lights on and off. And then also here you have a button whether you want the sensor to be turned on, meaning that if it's on, if it senses any motion, the lights will automatically come on. If you put it in the off position, then obviously you'll have to manually control the light. I like that on, so I'll keep that. And then you also have the learn and then the lock buttons as well. Learn, you'll press that twice to reprogram uh, any remote controls that you may need past the upgrade if you need to do so. Now that we got all the pieces to work with the gateway and the control panel, now we can proceed with the setup. 
to proceed, you will need to go to mychamberlain.com to set up an account. It's going to ask you to verify it. Uh, you'll log back in and then uh, provide some additional information. Uh, and then eventually it will get to a screen where it will give you the option to enter your My Gateway serial number. The green light has to be on on the gateway in order for you to complete this step. With the gateway added, now you can program it to act as a garage door opener in order for you to control it remotely. You'll need to follow the steps that are going to be outlined on the screen. When you press the learn button, uh, you'll need to make sure that the lights in your garage door blink as a confirmation that the unit has been programmed. Your gateway will now have a blue light as well. And then under my places, you will see your garage door uh, that has been set up. Okay, so now I opened uh, my Chamberlain uh, app, and now let's go ahead and test it out. It's opening. And on the app, it states that it's open. If you want to close the garage door remotely, when you press it to close, you will actually have the garage door uh, panel beep as the garage door is closing. And it's going to beep initially as a warning first, and then it's going to start closing it. So you have a few seconds warning that the garage door is closing, that somebody is doing it remotely. It's loud, as you heard it. It will also do the same beeping if you have your uh, unit program to auto-close the garage door one, five, or ten minutes, it will give you the same beep. So, you know, use it, just don't use it too often because you probably don't want to know your neighbors. But at least it gives you a good tone, so in case, you know, you go to the mailbox and chatting with your neighbor, better have the phone with you in case you do have the door set to auto-close. On the My Chamberlain app, you do have the option to get alerts when the garage door open or closes. So you can get those configured, turn them on or off. You also have the time settings. For some reason, once I set it up, for some reason the time settings weren't perfectly working and I was not getting notifications. But when I went to their online profile for the same rule, there was a 24-7 checkbox to get that enabled. And once I had that enabled, uh, my alerts started to work. So in case you get this configured and it doesn't work for some reason, log in through their online app or through their online website and then choose the 24-7 notification option. And then for the type of notification, you can have push notifications, which means this app will boot up and uh, you know tell you that uh, the garage door has been open or closed, and you can also get the email as well. It does not have uh, text notification options. All right, folks, now that everything has been set up, finally everything is working well, and I'm happy with the results. It took us a while to get there with the router issues and control panel and stuff, but uh, now that everything is set up, I love it. It's fairly nice and simple and easy to use. You know, just open the app, check the status of the garage door, you need to open it or close it, you can do that as well. And you can also do that through their online interface without the app or the smartphone. So if you need to make a change uh, to your garage door status, open or close it, you can do that through their online interface as well. I like the simplicity of just you know, opening the app, checking the status, and doing that. I also love the fact that there are no subscription fees or monthly fees or app fees, so they're not trying to nickel and dime you. Basically, you pay for it, buy the unit, set it up, and that's it. So um, I like that uh, process with no subscription fees. All right, well, thanks, everybody, for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and found it helpful.